Hello and welcome to another edition of Entheo Radio. We talk about shamanism, psychedelics, and altered states for healing. This is your captain speaking, Captain Hugh T. Alchemy, also known as Trevar. I'm here with a very special guest today, Ronaldo Guerrero. Welcome to the show, Ronaldo. Oh, thank you so much for reminding me. <laughs> My pleasure. Yeah, thank you. So I'm going to read your bio and introduce you. Uh, Renato, he was born in Chile and he is passionate about the mysteries of life. As a child, he had a great connection to the subtle world and in his youth, he began to enter into holistic practices. This motivated his pilgrimage to sacred places around the world, creating connection with indigenous communities and the guardians of these visited places. Today, Renato supports the empowerment of human beings and the recovery of self-mastery in the, in these classes circles and ceremonies and initiatory trips his purpose is to help the preparation and the liberation of the new conscious human beings on this planet welcome that's bienvenidos uh, where are you today <laughs> i'm really good thank you so much yeah i'm here i'm here in where are you in mexico you're in mexico right now in you're, you're always traveling you're always traveling yeah yeah um uh, I spent some time in several places, like the Bayou um, uh like Peru, uh, Mexico, London, England, you know, um, second places. And right now is the time for Mexico again. So it's just like, um, it's, I spent many time here. It's like my family, like my second home, like that, like that. So I feel really, really nice to be here. I'm right, we are close, really close now to, yeah. to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm in uh, Mexico Norte, Baja California Norte, basically Baja California, Southern California. Yeah, that is a amazing place. I spent time there too. Also, I have a retreat now close in, in April in Baja California, in La Paz. Yeah, it's, it's a really powerful place. Let's, yes, it let's, is. Let's start with that. So you have a retreat here in California, and I think a lot of my listeners of Indio Radio are in the States. Um, there's a few people in Europe and some people in Canada, not a ton in Mexico and very few in, in South America. So uh, tell us about what's going on with your trips, your tours, your retreats and to these sacred places, and then maybe the shamanic practices that take place. I know that's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Uh, so what happened? Right now, we live at really big change and situations in Chile. That's why a lot of my agenda changed too. So I don't, uh, in the beginning, I really don't think him to be here in Mexico. It has happened, you know, the big mystery, um, the big spirit put me here. And so I need to redo everything again. Right now, I have a couple of retreats in California that's really new. I don't have uh, uh, exactly dates, so uh, I can give you later if you want. If something is interesting in that, in March I will be. In, I, I will give a, a Wachuma ceremony, cacao and ayahuasca, uh, close to Yocha Tree. It's an amazing place, really powerful place. Um, it's gonna be my second time over there. If it's gonna be in March, I don't have really exactly days. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Um, really, everything is so, you know, uh, full of movement right now. I try to adapt to all this, and I'm really open, you know, to flow in the in this energy comes to me. I know I'm not the only one over here, you know, with all these big challenges and all these big movements. So. Yeah, <laughs> let, let, let's be open to receive all this. Um, I traveled around the world for many, many, many long time ago. Um, my base, the first time is Santiago de Chile, in is the capital in, in Chile. So I moved myself when I'm really young to the south of Chile, the north of Chile. I spent two years in Atacama Desert. Um, it's a really powerful place over there. Um, I don't, I don't know if you guys use. Uh, listen about you know the the solar disk and and the the solar disk. I can I can explain you a little bit, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the solar the solar disk. They are 
um, and a cosmic information, uh, and this information um, exists in a kind of uh, um, disk, you know, like gold, um, and contain a lot uh, uh, of information, not just com cosmic, also from where ancestors in Lemuria and Atlantis, etc. And all that uh, is carried by the Pleiadians and other cultures, um, cosmic cultures. You can see that in the in the Toltec and the Magian, you know, calendar, for example, and yeah. also in the in the in Cusco too, for example, with this in the solar disk in Cusco in Peru. Mm -hmm. And many of plenty of that disk uh, exists in in all America and many places in the world. And that helped to contain and sustain the energy um, um, to really uh, like uh, connect all places in the best way because uh, exists in power in, in, in powerful places like uh, around Machu Picchu, you know, uh, around uh, the pyramids in Chichen Itza, etc. Um, is this the same disc that they talk that they show in Egyptian hieroglyphics an Egyptian in Egypt? Yes, yes, the it's the same line of on the, on the end of the disc. Yes, but it's represented with another kind of you know uh, message, but going straight to the same place, you know, uh, oh. but it's similar. It's similar, you know, but because uh, these kind of cultures for a long time ago they. They don't talk about God, you know. This, they, I, I also, they don't represent the sun like a God. They are, they talk about more like a kind of divinity, and I, they give some offers. So that's why you know many cultures around the world they have this kind of connection between the sun and and also uh, in between with the moon too. Um, and represented by the silver disc that is represented the feminine and the solar disc represented the masculine. Uh, this disc helped also too in the equilibrium and the balance in between the north and, and south and all this energy in between, you know, the planet and gra the, the, the gravity also too and help to connect the crystal grid the energy grid around the world, you know, with all these con connected, all the energetic points around the world, and that can contain the energy in the best way, basically. And so that's happened before, you know, that Atlantic and Lemurian, you know, fall, um, because this is a long history, and we can talk about it in any moment of all that, but mm. it, it's like a necessary energy on the necessary technology, uh, basically, to contain the energy after uh, the chaos uh, happened with all this war, you know, and all the situation and all this fall before Lemuria and after Atlantic. So thanks for this technology and all the, uh, the gravity and all this uh, can exist in, in somehow some way today, you know, in some um, delicate and social line, you know, and yeah, this is like a kind of information I can give you. It's, it's, a, it's a long history. We can talk about for hours about this. Yeah, so are you talking about the wars of gods and men, like Zachariah Sitchin's books? Um, something about that, because we... What happened? Is, so, um, be, before Pangea, like in that kind of age, uh, in, we are living here uh, and we have connection in between with another cultures, you know, with, with another kind of uh, colors, you know, with four directions and all that. And, and representing, you know, in and, 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 and many different, like, um, species, you know, of people, of human kind, you know, um, humanoids, you know, something like that. Not really physically for the, you know, level of dimension will, uh, we were living in, in that time, but um, just we can imagine, you know, in, in that moment, you know, we are not in the third G, so we are not in the really physical way on the physical body, 
we, 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 in that times, we, we are able, you know, to really be almost in, in between in the physical and etherical bodies, you know, uh, like a kind of plasma uh, or something, or in, in between the ether, you know, and you understand. So, uh, what happened, you know, is uh, a supposedly, you know, uh, um, cosmic beings in uh, they are coming in peace, and and I, I want to be sure about this because it's long. Um, sure. In some, in, it's in some, in some time, in some moment in the history of of Gaia or wh whatever you want to call, um, we live a, a you know a fall of the uh, energetic uh, situation over here, you know, and so we'll fall a little bit on, in, in, in the dimension we live. And what happened that, because the fear uh, coming, you know, we don't know about fear, we don't know about anger, or we don't know about nothing about that. So we really, we live in peace, we share technologies, we share many things. So before that, you know, something happened, cosmic things appear here, you know, and with kind of mask, you know, I want to talk about that, you know, and don't really represent the beings they are, like wolves, you know, in 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 the, the like uh, sheep's bodies, something like that. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, in costume, yes. as a, yeah, as a part of the flock. Exactly, in incarnated, you know, in, in, in these beings, you know, but they they're, don't really come with, you know, with the best purpose over here. They say, you know, we come from war, we need, you know, we need your help, guys, you know, can you please give us, you know, can you please open the space for us to, I can, we can give you technology, we can give you, you know, knowledge, we can blah, 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 you know, all these like politicians today. <laughs> Sorry about that, I don't want to involve, but. Right, right, <laughs> I understand. It is, it's a, it's a galactic politic. Exactly, something like that. And, 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 and that energy comes from another universe and it's spent long years long time you know it starts from stars a constellation by constellation you know to andromeda to orion to pleiades blah, 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 blah. i'm coming to here and um, and in the moment they arrive uh, the first uh, in the beginning, you know, the Atlantis, they really feel something weird over there. The golden concilium, the, the, uh, all these golden elders um, in the golden school, they really say, mm, I don't think so. This really smell weird, you know, they smell funny. Um, in Lemuria, say, why not, you know, is we can share, you know, and, and, and we can have uh, a community with these people and blah, blah, blah. And okay. little by little, they start to come, you know, and they're coming with a really good purpose. But uh, what happened? Um, Esperte, hold on. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is some beings came from across the universe to visit yeah. Atlantis and Lumeria. Yeah. Okay. To visit the planet, basically. Yeah, during the time that was like uh, maybe Pangaea or the continents were in a different position. Yes, before Atlantis and Lemuria. They, uh, in, it's like the beginning of Atlantis and Lemuria. Okay. Because right. exists another cultures before Atlantis and Lemuria. This is, a really, this is a really long story and it's a big story and I'm interested. Yes, it's you a really long story. You better find a way story. for our listeners to tie it back to shamanistic uh, <laughs> practice. I would love, I would love to hear how this ties into shamanism at some point. But continue, go, keep going where you were at. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Yeah, because it's connected. It's absolutely connected. Yes, you know, because uh, I in, think you know, in, be, in between, in between, just you know, I want to continue with the history, but in between, because the shamanism today is all that ancestral memories we sometimes we forgot in a moment. So thanks for the sacred medicines. Thanks for the, the, the praise. Thanks for the practices and many things like that. We can remember a little tiny bit, you know, of everything, you know, about that history. And so that is in between. So it's absolutely connected. 
Mm-hmm. Um, Jesus, for example, is one of the biggest shamans in the world, you know, and another more. So it's, it's, a, it's a long, long, long history about this shamanism, but it's connected. So what happened over there? Um, these beings come and, you know, they're sharing knowledge, they're sharing information to us. Uh, they give us, yes, uh, many tools, you know, to uh, also uh, ways to create, you know, ways to, to um, be able to, to use the DNA and things like that, you know to you know create life basically so it's like and, and we really we, we have in another ways another 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 forms to create life um and also uh, genetic engineering technologies yes hybridization yeah yes 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 and and in between two so uh, Sometimes if we read something or whatever, and, and if we have some kind of information, we sometimes we follow the um, Anunnaki's or all that things, but we need to really be like, here, you know, we, we really need to, be to take responsibilities also too, you know, because it's not like, okay, you, 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 you are free of whatever, you know, and, Right now, these guys are the enemies, and we are, you know, like the superheroes. And that's not true, you know. We really, we need to recover our ancestral memory. We really need, we need to see wh- um, what is we're really, we're, we're purpose of it here. What we do on that time, because we are really not fully peaceful there, you know. Uh, maybe we are super peaceful in this life, in this timeline, or whatever, but in another ones, we have a lot of things, you know, to understand and take responsibility about the things we do too, you know. Mm-hmm. And because the fall of Lemuria, the fall, the fall of Atlantis, and another cloud source too, um, is world responsibilities, you know. And that uh, give us a tool to really be uh, a really good human being and in a really consciousness way, you know and more mature, you know, uh, women or men, you know, no, no, like, mm-hmm. come on, stop to be that voice or that, you know, no, come on, let's, let's check the responsibility of all these. Let's see all everything like a big, massive plan, you know, uh, and this big, massive plan don't come from just from this universe, you know, if we believe in just one God from and one universe, and one cell, <laughs> yes, is minimum. But if we believe, if you saw, for example, the flower of life, oh, I see. You I saw see. the Metatron cube, or you can see, you can see plenty of that circles, you know. And they are all. If you thinking about that, they are all universe. They are all connected. They are all different worlds. They are all different gods, you know. They are all different creators. Yes. So that is a big plan, you know, it's, it's a massive big plan. So I can, we can say, oh no, my God, you know, the fall of Lemuria, oh my God, I, I, want, I want to cry, the fall of blah, 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 or whatever, the Lakotas or the Mapuches in the South, or, you know, it's still here because like the macro, micro, micro, macro, it's like that. Right, right yeah. Uh, so I see that and I've experienced that. And I think some of our listeners through psychedelic shamanism and, and, and theogens have experienced these things. Yeah. Uh, but not everyone believes it. There's, some, there's a lot of, you know, skepticism. Yeah, it's, it's not easy. Sorry for the interruption. It's really not easy because we have so much programs. Mm-hmm. We are full of programs, you know. And, and that's coming live after live after live after live generation, my generation, my generation, my generation. And it's not where father, mother falls or grandmother, mother falls. No, 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 no. It's just, it's opportunity. For me, it's the big opportunity to, to really being able to empower yourself, you know, take responsibilities, understand who you are, why you are here, and, and really, you know what? Whatever happened in my past is my past, you know. I, I can't do nothing about that, you know. The only thing I can do 
this be consciousness. I can study that. Okay, this happened. You know, this happened to me. This happened to many ones around me. And okay, so what is the way right now to don't repeat again the same? It's, it's, it's just that, you know, and, and be better. So whatever happened in my past or whatever is going to happen in my future, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm here talking to you guys. So mm-hmm. dependence of the thing we do now in this conversation can happen a lot of things, you know. And maybe, you know, this conversation can, can be listened for thousands of people. Uh, but I don't know, maybe just two or three cannot really fully understand now. Maybe tomorrow, another three more. Maybe in a year, another, you know, a hundred more. Yeah. We, 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 really, we, we never know. So I'm really totally open about the, the way the people also, you know, take that, uh, they take the message, take the responsibility, and in the way that people won't evolve, you know. I'm, 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 I'm not anyone to say, you know what, uh, you need to evolve in this way, you need to do this, you need to do that. It's a free will. And in that free will, you know, the only thing we need to do is be open, you know. Be really, be really open about the things we do, the things we saw, the things we receive, and don't take everything that is totally true. That is the most important thing. Yes. Yes. Oh, so, so let's touch on that. You don't take everything in waking life. In, you're talking about like the the tonal, the reality that we're working in, this this maya, this illusory reality. Don't take that samsara, if you will, yeah. uh, as as like worth believing in and worth worth you know as truth. Yes, exactly. Test it. Test it. For example, I don't know. Your truth is not my truth. You're right now. You live. You live in your own reality. I live in my own reality, but your reality is absolutely perfect because it's your own universe, you know, and you are the creator of your own universe. And that is absolutely perfect and beautiful. I am the creator of my own universe, you know, and that is the, 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 the thing we talk about for so many generations. You know, we are one. Yes, we are like cells in a big body. The big body right now is the Mother Earth, you know. This is the big body for us. And inside us, we have a universe. We have our central sun, you know. We have this creator mind over here too, you know. When we are there connected, you know, we are amazing. They are powerful, you know. And when we have all our channels connected, oh my God, we can create a beautiful magic, you know. But that is the pen of you, the pen of me, the pen of everyone. And if if we really, we, 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 we are connected, you know, we can really create our own realities, you know. But the difference between is I can be, can be, I can be consciousness about my reality. Yeah. No sleeping in my reality, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that is, that is a big step. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, that, 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 that is the, that is the trick over there. Because this is a big game, you know. It's a beautiful and magical game. But we need to learn the way to play it. If we don't know the way to play, what happens? We fall and fall and fall and fall, you know? We never take the magical number, you know? So, all time lost, <laughs> whatever. So, we really lost? No, we really was not lost. No, we never lost. If we're thinking we lost, yes, of course. We need to repeat again and again and again. But you think, oh my God, this is a... I take my experience, you know, over here, so... I got it. <laughs> Somehow, some way, a little bit, I got it. <laughs> and that spark, you know, can bring a, another piece of your soul, another piece, you know, of yourself to be really complete. A little, and, and, and time by time, you, you can be your own one. Because Absolutely. if we're thinking in multidimensional uh, uh, spaces, we need to think about that and feel about that. We are also multidimensional beings. So the first thing we need to do is integrate ourselves. Not all the planet and all the people, you know, because we are different. Yes. We need to integrate ourselves in all these 
multidimensional spaces understand ourselves, you know, and really where inner child, where shadows, where light, where many fancy of things, we were higher self, cosmic being, and etc. You know, mm -hmm. and need to be one consciousness incarnated in this in this beautiful body. You know, so that is the is almost like the Buddha. You know, do you know in in, in that kind of ascension? You know, like yeah, Jesus yeah. and many. It's like a magical moment, like boom. And that magical moment is possible, you know. Some people talk about, you know, when uh, supposedly <laughs> in between Jesus go to India, he try opium. Okay. Also marijuana. Okay. So he activated that penal gland, you know. And he said, oh my God, that is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so he come back with this scenes, you know, and say, yes. Look at that, look at that, guys. I got it. <laughs> A tiny bit, I got it. So I go to do my diet in the desert, you know? So he goes to the, you know, and that is the metaphorism about, you know, the devil and Jesus and the devil talk about, that is really not Satan or something like that. Yeah, they are their yeah. own demons, you know, their own creations, you know? their own structures and their own limitations and blah, 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 egos or whatever, you know, and he, he, in that time, you know, it was, thanks for that kind of medicine and meditation. They say, oh my God, I, I, I have this beautiful tool, so let's use it to integrate these words, you know, to integrate myself. And finally, he got it, he do it, and boom, he jumped in, you know, and that is like a kind of explanation, you know, and to really be consciousness, you know, about this, my reality, you know, or your own reality. That is the pen of just myself, the pen of just of you, or the pen of all people right now uh, listening us, you know, watching us. It's, it's in absolutely, you know, because in the time we, when we really, we take the challenge about the free will, we need to be in charge of ourselves. Yes. You know? Awake. And yes. It's yes, absolutely. Uh, it's an individual awakening. Hmm. And, 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 and I really need to be free. If you guys, you want to be free, come on. Mm -hmm. let's, let's do it. You know? <laughs> Let, let's, let's be open about all these beautiful tools that are not poison or something like that. They are so, so magical, you know, beings. Yes. Cosmic beings incarnate, you know, in plants, in mushrooms, in trees, oh. in many things, you know. I, so they, yes, we are a, a beautiful, amazing team over here. <laughs> yes. So, so let's talk about those tools because uh, la medicina is really part of your practice. It's something that I uh, have had conversation with you privately about. And I want to start with one, um, and you can correct me if it's if I'm going in the wrong direction. I want to start with the the rape or the hape, the medicine that's uh -huh. becoming more popular now. It's as a snuff, I believe, for a lot. Yes. Of people. And that's not regulated, as far as I know, here in the states. Yes. So I can show you if you just give me two seconds. <laughs> sure, you can share that. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so Go much. Ahead, yeah. <laughs> If you're listening, this is in Theo Radio. You're here with Ronaldo Guerrero and QT Alchemy. We're just about to uh, watch Ronaldo demonstrate some rape or hape. I'm not really sure which one he, he prefers to, to name it as. And uh, if you're a podcast listener, um, great. Join us on YouTube to see the demonstration because we're also on the Theo Radio channel on YouTube. All right. Okay, show guys, you ready? Off, show, yeah, <laughs> show off what you got there. <laughs> okay, uh, the rape is uh, tobacco powder. That tobacco powder, the tobacco comes from the jungle and don't have any kind of chemical nocive process. Mm -hmm. uh, it's made by natives Heir from heirloom the jungle. Heirloom tobacco, not the cigarette tobacco, heirloom tobacco. Exactly, it's absolutely organic, 100% organic, made in the jungle and not for any kind of industry or 
the cigarette or tobacco industry, okay? So they may just for, to do the, 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 the rape, okay? The rape. Um, they don't made, you know, to sell it for any kind of industry. And they prayed for many generations ago. So basically, I want to show you, this is a, a pot. You can see a crystal pot. Yeah. I, I have another one over here. They have a different colors. Can you see? Because yeah. the colors um, change because they mix it, this rapé, this powder. They smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it. At the moment, they, they pray and pray and pray and pray and put intention, put the purpose and put many things over there and mix it with different ashes. And that ashes is prepared with different roots come from the jungle and, and uh, that different roots have the um, specific, you know, things can help you for, for different things too, you know. For mm -hmm. example, some rapets help you to clean uh, your fair eye, your, your crown chakras, you know, and everything, you know, at the top of your head, another thing is more of your throat, another thing, your heart and, and your etc. So basically, the um, it's a powder, and that powder, you know, I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna put in my hand a little bit, you know, sure. guys. Look at this. So you put it in here. It's it's like a tobacco. Can you see? It's a very fine powder. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really fine powder. So this is a pipe, you know. It's a it's a a, a, a could it be? Could it be? Could it be? And you put it like that, and you put it like that. You know, so that way. Yeah, I just had my first rape experience a few months ago. Oh, <laughs> it's an interesting experience. Some people are really yeah. Some mixtures are spicier than others, and I think I got one that was very spicy. <laughs> yes. So exist different kinds for different things. Um. The way to, to administrate this medicine is from your nose. So like that, like that, from your mm -hmm. right here and here, you know? Okay. I can explain details, but I, th I don't think it's necessary about that. I think so it's better just leave the experience. Um, in, in what kind of things the rapé can help? Uh, first, clean everything over here, everything you need your throat, your nose, you know, everything. Align your left and your, your right side. Okay. So that's help, you know, to have more clarity in your mind. Because you can breathe in the same way, you know, in your left and in your right side. So that's help to your brain to be in balance, you know? Yes. To, when you do that, already you are in a kind of, in a kind of moment of comfort, you know? Yeah. It's a little bit painful because, you know, for just one or two minutes, no more of that. And because, you know, yes, of course, it's something in your nose, you know, it's tobacco. But take a little bit of time, you know, to adapt it. It's not really a big deal. Mm -hmm. um, and when you receive the medicine, you know, um, it's really to calm your mind, you know, to try to be a little bit on, in, in that silence need your mind, you know. It's like to be a message to your brain you know mm -hmm. uh, because have too much information too much things to think about too much things to do too much things to organize so many things like that so really so oh my god i really like i need a break you know really i need a break and in that moment you know you just blow yourself up eh? exists some kind of pipe to blow yourself too you know you can blow yourself oh yeah 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 and also i uh, I administrate, you know, general managers in companies or things like that. And they, you know, say, oh, wow, this is amazing. You know, I have an amazing experience. So I, I, I want to put this in practice in, before my, you know, my meetings. And they're really, uh, they do. And they have, wow, such an amazing business. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> That's an, an example. Thanks for the clarity can give you, you know, the medicine in your in your in your yes. brain in, in your mind so because like it's like a realization it's like you really release all that concentration of the stress you know of tension and all that things also align your chakras uh, is really good for the liver and in the liver you know is 
you can accumulate uh, almost the 70 percent of all these sickness uh, situations um, so it's a really good to clean your your stomach too so it's a have a multiple you know a, a lot of benefits this is a lot of benefits because the tobacco uh, for the our ancestors in many cultures in the south of the north in the east of the west and um, basically this is the most ancestral medicine in the world you know before ayahuasca before the wachuma the peyote and mushrooms or whatever is the most old medicine the most ancestral medicine in a spiritual way you know mm -hmm. um maybe because mushrooms come before for a chemical compositions you know okay um yes um but the tobacco about the spirit is more old you know it's like an old ancient spirit boom incarnating this sacred plant you did you get it yeah yeah, I get it, yeah. yeah. that's why the tobacco exists in so many ceremonies around the world you know and they use it you know to really connect with the spirit world that is one of the most important thing you connect with the spirit world so you can also connect with your own spirit you know you can talk with your own spirit if you really are indeed that alignment with yourself and in mm -hmm. that inner peace in that um, uh, yeah in that center you know space to be yes. calm be peaceful you know be in harmony whatever happened on you, around you so yes it's amazing too it's an amazing um partner yes of course it's a partner right yeah it's a it's yeah it's a relationship it's one of the names. exactly and it's a beautiful relationship and sorry for interruption and that's mm -hmm. something really important for the people to really understand if you guys if you have the possibility to take some medicine any kind of medicine um the first thing we need to is be really respectful about first ourselves. First, what we are going to receive. Second, things where come from that thing <laughs> that we are going to receive. The next, the next uh, thing um, is if I going to receive from a shaman or or, or a medicine man or woman or whatever, really be open and sensitive about the energy that medicine men or shaman carry you know why i want to talk about this because it's, right now is plenty of people you know um just taking medicine and and we need to be respectful about ourselves first because it's energy and yes beautiful things can happen but if we don't have control about ourselves in an energetic way bad things can happen and really bad yeah. and really serious stuff this stuff and another another thing is be really in compromise with the spirit of the medicine we, we want to receive because it's a being you know have feelings have love to give us you know yeah so we really we need to be respectful about that that is the thing just i i want to express yes i mean it's it's like going to a family reunion when we get together with the medicine yeah yeah brother. i mean there's, there's a way to behave you don't get trashed at your family reunion you know? <laughs> yeah be respectful of the younger medicine spirits the younger cousins and, and nieces and nephews and you're also respectful of your elders and your uncles and aunties yes yes absolutely yeah that is the way so i know that you work more with uh, other things um, besides, you know, it sounds like you you do a lot of work with divination, and and you look you look into the akashic records, and you look at things from a spiritual perspective, just based on the stories you were telling, and then you work you work with the snuffs, the shamanic snuffs, but you also work with you mentioned Wachuma, the San Pedro ritual, and that's been yeah. mentioned more on on this season, two thousand nineteen, uh, in Theo Radio, than any other substance. Well second only to mushrooms and 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 then any other year like in the years past we talked a lot about dmt we talked a lot about ayahuasca it seems like the year of cactus and mushrooms so tell us about <laughs> your experience with the magical cactus and maybe you can yeah. segue into some other medicine that you work with yeah of course yeah i want to talk about both you know uh, cactus uh, specifics san pedro and mushrooms 
Um, so yes, everything have a time and everything have a, a perfect moment, you know. Um, I I feel right now people feel a call, you know, to receive more Wachuma, San Pedro, or mushrooms, or because we are really in a, in a, in a time to really uh, be more connected with the light, you know. And the cactus, the specific the Wachuma, uh, secret, the, the, the secret geometry he she has is uh, in an spiral, in an ascended spiral to the sun. So it's a, it's a medicine really connect with the energy of the sun, with the light. Uh, I don't want to say, you know, the darkness is bad because I don't have that uh, in my mind, you know. For me, the darkness, like the night, you know, uh, is, is a beautiful and amazing, lovely energy, you know. Also the light. The only thing over here is the way we use that, you know. That is the thing. This is really important to understand because it's like talk about negative or positive. Uh, really, the negative is so necessary for, for the human beings and also for the energies in the planet. Because if we don't have negativity, we don't exist. Right. Simple like that. It's the black and white balance, the yin-yang. Exactly. It's like a battery in my telephone or, or whatever. Need that battery, need positive and negative to be charged, you know. If you don't have that, forget it. So we're channel, you know, we're body, we're energetic body in this dimension, in the 3D. We really, we need that. So that's why it's so important to recognize the darkness, the shadows, to recognize ourselves. So basically, these secret plants help us to recognize ourselves in the most lightning, lightning way, you know, in the most, um, pers in the most uh, uh, higher perspe perspective. Because the, 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 the San Pedro Huachuma uh, is a medicine help us first to us, you know, to connect ourselves straight to the heart. And what happened for many generations ago, the human, the humankind, you know, just put barriers in the heart, you know, and more and more and more and more barriers. So the only thing we saw over there is just fake darkness or fake light, you know, because we really, we don't understand. We, we really, we don't want to, you know, to, to, I, yeah, I can, I, I love you, but over there. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> Fear. So we are, we are not, we are not really hundred percent person open. So these plants help us for that. A specific, the Wachuma and the mushrooms, because they are, they give you, you know, uh, a simple and softly way to open your channels in a such a beautiful way, a lovely way to be connected with nature and understand nature and understand your own nature. When you understand your own nature, you can understand the nature outside. So you can understand your barriers, your limitations, your all that, your fears and all that. So when you, oh my God, this is so simple. Why I don't you know, saw that before? Yeah, that is kind of things happen with the Watsu. Because they, he put you, she put you uh, lessons, you know, in a such a beautiful way to really, oh my God, this is all time here. The creation is all time here. I'm part of the creation, you know. I'm, I'm part of all this sacred geometry. I'm part of all this divinity because I am that divinity too. And putting the way to really understand that. For many generations ago, this sacred plant is used in all the Andes, in Chile, in Argentina, in Colombia, in Ecuador, Bolivia, Peru, basically. Um, and also when the Spanish people arrived to, uh, to Peru, they drink Huachuma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
they drink wachuma, and that's why they call it San Pedro. Right, yeah. Because San Pedro, San Peter, you know, is the one they have the keys of the heaven. So they say, oh my God, I, I am the heaven. <laughs> so yes. I have the key for the heaven, you know. So the heaven is, is right here, you know. <laughs> And we are in the heaven, you know, we can see, you know, everything around us like the heaven. Yes. So <laughs> that all I give the, the tool to open your the doors to your heaven. That's why they call it San Pedro, San Peter, you know, Wachuma. The Wachuma means in Quechua language, no head. <laughs> no head. Uh-huh. Why no head? No cabeza. <laughs> <laughs> why? Por qué? Because it's just hard. Ah, solo corazón. Solo corazón. Exactly. Wow, so I, I feel that. I feel that. I've made it. I've drank <laughs> it many times, and that really brings me into my heart. Yes, exactly. In so fact, I, I, I don't want the purga, right? There's some for some people that have never taken it. They don't know that there's the purga in the beginning for some people. Yes, yeah, sometimes, you know, depending, you know, kind of what we need to do, um, because it's different ways to to take it, because we can drink it, we can eat it, um, and depending the way we eat it or with, with, with the way we drink it, because we can be in pow powder, can be in a liquid way, you know, straight to the cactus, that is an amazing and beautiful way. They are both all beautiful, really, uh, because the spirit is still there, you know. <laughs> um, but yes, you know, and uh, when we drink that, you know, we open our consciousness to things, and when we're open our consciousness, uh, it's like create like a kind of tiny chaos in our energetic bodies and physical body. And between some chants and songs, you know, that energetic sound vibrations and things like that create kind of uh, m um, moments to really to uh, release some things, you know. We can release in any kind of way. We can cry for joy or we can cry for sadness. We can puke, <laughs> we can whatever, <laughs> you know. All time people, you know, also if we're, oh, we're Johnny or whatever, that is a way to, you know. Everything about, you know, wind, uh, water, you know, or it's a way to clean, you know, depending, you know, the composition of the body or in the, in, in the step we are in where evolution is the way we are going to release all that, you know. Uh -huh. But it's absolutely perfect because we need to understand also to all these low vibration energies, sometimes they are incarnate in our energetic bodies. And if we don't detect that in, in the perfect timing, they're little by little going to our bodies and that creates sickness situations, you know, we need to call for help, you know, for whatever, uh, for cancers or things like that, or stomach situations or whatever. So before that happened, you know, be, before that happened, uh, that's why, you know, we puke or things like that. It's not something bad. It's a really good thing because your body tell you, you know, you you know what, you're in a, in, in a good time, because you're right now you, all that cancer you puke that, so that's not gone, don't going to incarnate in yourself. So that is why you know we sometimes we we release many things. So it's absolutely perfect. Um, about the um the mushrooms, um, they they, they are. It's not similar, you know, but they are really compatible, you know. They are really friendly medicines, you know. And both medicines you can drink or eat by day or night, you know. And depending on if you do by day or night, it's going to happen, you know, the things you're going to receive. Why? Because there are different energies. The, na the night I have a one energy and the day you have another energy, you know. Of course, in the night, is another is more deep, uh, you know, in, in another way, you know, for another kind of visions or 
or another kind of um, information you're going to receive. Yes. And why that happened? Because um, I don't want to say one is uh, the day was be is better to the night or the night is better to the day. No, because it's just experience you need to receive. When we are when, you, when we are in a night ceremony, is basically because uh, you need to receive more things in your mind. And your mind can process this in a better way and your heart can understand best, you know, and have that connection. I don't want to say the mind is bad or something like that. No, it's absolutely perfect. It's in a beautiful tool to really create. But if we really good use it, if we would use the mind, um, is you, you, and you drink medicine at night, your mind is going to be more peaceful because you don't have too much noise around you. All that visual noise with full of colors, full of, you know, things. And it's many. It's because your mind needs to think a lot, you know. It's much to think. But in the night, it's not like that. Your mind is more calm, you know, more soft, more easy. And that's why you can really uh, take the medicine in a really more softly way. You know, yes. by day, it's another kind of exercises, you know, for example, in Wachuma, personally, I, I try to connect the people or ourselves in nature, you know, close to some river, close to mountains or in a mountain or in a forest mm -hmm. or in a desert or places like that, to really, uh, you know, and, and try to walk to, you know. Uh, consciousness uh, walks and because uh, that helped also for the medicine you know can distribute in the best way thanks for your blood and all that uh, in your body and connect yourself with another kind of information you know um, more solar information so both are absolutely beautiful they are both is going to give you guys an, a, an, a beautiful experience and depending, you know, you know the, um, if you really, you feel the call because you're afraid to do it by day, because you are afraid to do it by night, so do it by night. <laughs> mm. You know? Yeah. Yes. Because if you're really good in something, for example, if I'm the best, you know, making fire, you know, oh, wow, I'm the best making fire, you know, I am the best uh, fire, uh, fire chanting or whatever. Um, and somebody invite you, you know, to the ocean and you're afraid, you know, to swim in the night in the ocean. So that is the thing you need to do right now. Work with water and stop to work with the fire, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and understand the water in all the compositions, you know. So, because if I'm good enough with the fire, that is my ego. Uh, why I need to be, you know, the best of the best in the fire? Uh -huh. No. No. I don't need to, you know. I, this is not a competition. <laughs> I need to you be in balance. I need to, exactly, I need to be in balance, yeah. you know. I need to be in balance, you know. We, War waters, war fire, war wind, and war air. You know, everything needs to be in balance. And that is also part of evolution, you know. And these sacred plants also help us to recognize that kind of thing, too. The mushrooms are different, you know, to the Wachuma. So you're talking about psilocybin mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. mushrooms, you know, um, um, they they are more psychedelical, you know, um, in a visionary way, um, and also like DMT. they're more like DMT. Yes, they are more like DMT. Yeah, exactly. They are more like that, uh, like changa or something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the different, you know, like the DMT or the changa, they are so fast, and <laughs> you know. And you really, when you take it, you know, you, you just need a couple of minutes and you're, you know, in the experience. The mushrooms, dependent kind of mushrooms, you can be there in like 20 minutes, half hour, something like that. And then little by little, you know, you can leave your process. Depending on how many kind of medicine you're going to take. 
also two, one gram or two grams and all. And that also depending on uh, the medicine you're going to take. Yeah. So journeys, uh, wachuma, a mushroom can be about, you know, seven, eight hours around that, you know, uh, much, much less around that. And um, the medicine, you know, of the mushrooms, you know, uh, not many people puke or really release with the mushrooms in, in the way, you know, you can release with ayahuasca or wachuma. Right. But, but yes, you release because um, when you jump, for example, when you go, oh, like that, that is a way to release. Yeah. Yeah. And that happened a lot with the mushrooms. <laughs> Yes, and you know, some people will have heaving, like uh, just that, that just not yeah, yeah. exactly, <laughs> or or burping, burping. Yes, like that kind of energy. <laughs> yes, yeah. and for me, I, I try to explain this for people uh, because I have experienced it through the medicines, and I've experienced it through dance and drumming and all sorts of shamanic altered states when we have spirit there is no room for sickness and oftentimes yeah, yeah. we're full of stuff emotions food processed food bad food and the body is trying to get that energy out or transform that energy and that's what the nausea and the, the throwing up or or if you go through the other end <laughs> That's what it's all about. And and even the tears, like for a lot of people, tears yeah. are detoxifying, very detoxifying. Yeah. Yes. Also, if you love too, for example, if you have fun, that is a really important way to really release things. Because some people sometimes forgot, you know, about have fun. Oh, yes. Yeah. Laughter. Laughter. Yes. Yeah. I agree. And you sometimes you spend like three minutes and you, oh my God, my tummy, I can't, you know, more. This is, this, is, this is the way, you know, because you really, you're so in tension, you're so stressful of this, like that. And the mushroom gives you some couple of lessons and you just, you know, just have fun there. And, and, and it's not bad, you know, it's a beautiful way to, because you also release a lot of tension there. Yeah. And sometimes this attention comes from many generations ago. So you can release that and you can understand, oh my God, uh, this, is a, this is a really good way to you know, receive healing. And it's a really good way to understand myself, to don't be so straight, you know? <laughs> yeah. And understand that life is flexible, you know? <laughs> I agree. I agree. Yeah. Beautiful. That's that's a good reminder for me. I, I looked at all those hard processes and I forgot about fun. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm really open because I'm also for a long time ago I, I spent time in the red path. Oh my god. <laughs> the red path is like that. So discipline, you know. Can you hear me? You yeah. Oh hello. Where Can you hear me? There we go. We got we we're back. Okay, perfect. So um, I, I spent some time in the red pad, and just, are you talking about the Native American style red red pad? Yes, exactly. The Native very, American style red pad. Yeah, I'm very. Familiar. So you need a lot of discipline to be there. Yeah. And uh, oh my God, yes, I learned about that. I spent one sand dance, you know, and wow, it's a really powerful experience. Oh my God. So what my ancestor, my ancestors tell me when I first dance sand dance in this timeline, in this life, they tell me why you come and to sacrifice yourself again. So why you need you, you why you want to continue suffering? What what what's going on with you? What's wrong in you? So mm -hmm. you really you don't want to have fun? So you're coming in this life again to receive punishment? Uh -huh. So you know what you're going to do? You go into your fire to talk with your brother and work in the fire the four days over there. <laughs> and that's happened. <laughs> wow. Really. Yeah. And that's helped me really a lot to really because 
uh, in my beginning when I start to give ceremonies like 15, 20 years ago, I'm like that, like a piece of wood, like no muddy movement, you know, move me. You know, really, it's like a piece of stone over there, you know? <laughs> and nothing happened to me and, you know, take care of yourself and I, you can do it, you know? Like, like that, no, pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. And after that, I say, okay, so yes, it's time to be flexible because I think if I continue in this path like that, I'm going to broke myself. Uh -huh. So really, I need to learn about to be like a samurai sword, you know? Flexible. Flexible by strong too. Yes. You know? Between water and fire. You know, because you need both to create a really good art, a, a really good samurai sword. Right, you got to put it, put the hot metal in the in the water. Exactly, and if you put it a long time, it can broke. You know, yeah. You need to put it in the perfect time, and, the, and, and and no more, no less. You know, no more, no less fire. You need to be in exactly equilibrium and balance to, you know, to really receive. The perfect um, balanced sword, you know, the perfect uh, sword. And um, that is a really also in between, that is a really beautiful prey to, to really be in balance with the, the elements, you know, the wind, the metal for the Chinese and uh, um, Japanese cultures, you know, and all the way there, you know, the water and the, and the fire, you know. And it's happened, you know, to me that, you know, because I spent many time, you know, with fire and really number one fan of fire. <laughs> so uh, at the moment I said, okay, it's time to reconnect my work and my fear. I need to cry too, you know, I need yeah. to, you know, <laughs> yeah. So, oh my God, I spent many time crying and crying and crying. Also, one of my first mushroom ceremony, just I cry all the ceremony. <laughs> so, yeah. Why I cry so much? Yeah, because I recognize my own water, you know, <laughs> my own feelings, and all that containing for so long time ago. And finally released, and then just my tears just going and down and down like a beautiful cascade, you know, and say, mm -hmm. Why I'm crying if I don't want to cry? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just crying and crying and crying. I close my eyes. And the medicine show me why I'm crying and all that thing. I really appreciate about all that beautiful information and really put me there in a really consciousness way to understand my more feminine side, you know, also to be more in com compassionate, you know, more, uh, uh, more open, you know, in another ways, you know, to say, oh my God, the flowers, they are strong too, you know, the hummingbirds they are strong too. Not just the eagle on the corner, you know. <laughs> no, no, yeah, not just the cactus. Or, no, the, also the wachuma give you a beautiful flower. So why, in 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 what moment in your life, do you, you don't see that? So in a moment, say, oh my God, yes, that happened, you know. So also the wachuma with all that strong energy, they bring you a beautiful flower, you know. So mm -hmm. that's like, oh my God, they, yes, that is a beautiful thing, you know. They they really the these sacred plants, the wachuma and the mushrooms, they teach you in a way to you you really can, you, you can understand, you know. It's not that full of visions so of things you make you sometimes you wake up and say, Oh my god, what happened? <laughs> you know, and you really you need to take your pen and your you know and, and your and you really just you think you really you forgot and, and you, excuse me, you the thing you remember. Right. And because it's it's a process, you know, so it's going slow and you go, you go, you go up, 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 and then you go down, 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 down up, up, up. It's like that, like roller coaster. <laughs> yes. It's like a roller coaster experience. Absolutely. Yeah. Hmm. So it sounds like you're coming to California. Where else are you traveling this, uh, this year for 2020? So I will be in California. After that, I will be in Seattle and come back to California. I hope to see you there and maybe we can do something together if you're open. Yeah, I'm open. Um, oh, thank you so much. And really, this is going to be my honor. Thank you.
Yeah, thank you. I, I'm excited about the, the up and coming decriminalization of magic mushrooms here in the state of California. And then oh. up in Oregon and Washington, there's something similar happening. Uh, so maybe that's a medicine that'll get opened up for our culture here in the West Coast of America. North America. That's a beautiful. Wow, that's beautiful. And, and then, um, so you'll be offering rape and uh, you'll be doing maybe some Wachuma. ceremonies. Yeah. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So we can, I, you, I'm here for you. I'm here for you guys. <laughs> so you. I'm in service. So whatever you need, I'm here for you. And I'm open to co-create, you know, to expand consciousness. Absolutely. I will be there. After that, I come back to here to Mexico. I'm in Puebla now. And I have uh, things in, in Riviera Maya, in Tulum. Uh, also in Baja California too I have a couple of things over there um, I have a couple of things here in, in Mexico around Mexico after between March and June I'm open I don't have nothing right now in my agenda and in July I have a retreat in Peru it's a medicine experience in Peru in Circuit Land in Circuit Valley uh, it's a 10 day experience over there. Um, we will visit sacred lands, sacred places. Wow. We, will, we will do ceremony in uh, several places. Not many people know over there because shamans from there, gardens of that, that place, they show me to do ceremony there. They are not touristic places. Of course, we are going to visit Machu Picchu because it's a really powerful place. It's a, Yes, it's for everybody, but um, I have the lucky, you know, to really uh, yeah. receive some knowledge from there uh, because I lived two years there, from, yeah, and I received some knowledge. I, I can take you there, guys. And after that, I'm going to be in Ireland and uh, UK, Spain, yep. and after that in the in Egypt. So July, August, September, Europe and North of Africa. Okay. Okay. After that, I don't know. I'm open to. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me where is it that you can practice special uh medicine work and not be bothered? In Mexico are you allowed to practice your I think what Chuma is pretty unregulated. The San Pedro cactus you can practice at most places, yeah? Yes, yes, it's not really, you know, I, I also, uh, I had a beautiful experience with Wachuma in the jungle. Mm -hmm. uh, oh my God, one of the most, the most powerful experience I never had is in the jungle. It really surprised me. In uh, Chocó, in Colombia, and it's the more, it's close to the Pacific Ocean. Um, okay. It's like uh, close to Medellin, you know. Where is this? Close to Medellin, Medellin no, in Colombia. In, in Colombia. Yeah, in Colombia. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was, um, and, and, and I give that ceremony over there. And it's, oh my God. Oh, oh wow. It's a really powerful connection in, 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 with the jungle. And I repeat the experience also in Brazil too, in the jungle. And really, I, 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 I understand. Oh my God, the experience is everywhere. So, so it's not a kind of restriction about the place we are going to receive the medicine. Mm. And of the respect you have with the medicine and yourself and with the guardians of the lands. Because the lands also there have a spiritual guardians too. But if you're in alignment with a higher purpose, believe me, you don't going to have any kind of problem. Absolutely different. You're going to have all the doors open because they know, or they understand it's for a big purpose. It's for something bigger, you know. It's hmm. just your prey connected with another place, you know. Also, it's the way what ancestors do for many generations ago, you know, because they share all that knowledge. And again, yes. Remember, we talked about it in the beginning. So we are not, okay, oh my God, if you want to drink ayahuasca, you need to take it in just, I don't know, in Pucallpa, in Peru, or in the jungle, in, in Brazil. I don't think so, you know. Uh, I know, I, I listen about right now, you find ayahuasca also in Hawaii. 
and Wachuma in, in Wachuma in California. In San Diego, yeah. Exactly. So I have it in my backyard. <laughs> oh my God, that's beautiful. <laughs> so so why you know we are going to have that kind of resistance and bar barriers, you know, about the 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 expansion of consciousness, you know. This is just dependent in, in, in the way you do the things. If you if you do that, if you do this in a really seriously way, in a consciousness way, in a really lovely way, and you really care about the thing you do, um, and you have a path because it's not the kind of thing you're going to do one day to another. Um, believe me, you aren't going to have any kind of struggle or, or limitation. Absolutely not. Um, so the place called me to, do, to give, you know, medicine, if the spirits don't agree and the guardian of the land don't agree and I'm agree, I'm there. Absolutely. hundred percent. Hmm. I, I'm helping help some of the people to understand some of that. So I, I think what I'm hearing is that the spirits of place, the spirits of the guardians and uh, of these, um, places that we practice set good set and setting in with a shamanic dose, like a medicine, a shamanic medicine a sacrament that the spirit of place helps to hold that good, good experience. And it's, yeah. it's just, it's way beyond what we comprehend as human uh, medicine people holding space. It's way beyond that. So that place is really helping us if yeah. we pray the right way. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Exactly. That's yes. beautiful. That's well said. And it's never been said on this show before. So thank you for being the first one to, to illustrate that. Yes, it's really important. It's not just the medicine on you. It's the place, in the place you are. Mm -hmm. Because it's really different, you know, take mushrooms in the city or yeah. take, take mushrooms, you know, in the top of the hill, in the mountain. It's a really huge, big difference. Why? Because, of course, in the cities, I don't want to say, I don't want to say, you know, the cities, they are bad. I live in a city. <laughs> I chose to live in a city, you know? Yes. And I love cities too, because I have fun, you know, I have fun, you know? And I don't have the resistance. Many times ago, I had that kind of resistance, you know, and I really like it. Just, I want to live in my mountain or my forest. But right now, no, come on, you know, I'm a here. I'm a human being. I'm choice this experience to live here whatever, in a city or in the forest, doesn't matter. Yeah. So the most important thing when you really, when you're going to take these medicines, you know, and you're going inside, for example, a discotheque, okay? <laughs> and you take some kind of, no, really, because it happened. Happened oh, to yeah. me. Yeah, like, like a, we call them really, games now. Yeah, but discotheque, yeah. My, my first experience with what you must die that. Really, true. Wow. Really. Why? Because he showed me, you know, he showed me the way I, the way I don't need to do it, you know. Mm -hmm. And that take me longer. <laughs> I really, I live a really powerful process and say, oh my God, I'm really, I'm comfortable in, in, in here, you know. I need to go out. I, mean, I remember I'm in Chile in a, in a beach. So, you know what I do? I, I'm going to the beach alone. And I connect myself with the moon. And I, stay, and I spend all my night over there, you know. <laughs> and I don't know about meditation or nothing like that. It's my first experience, you know, really, literally, with alcohol or things like that. I say, and after that, I say, oh, my God, I, I, I don't need to, you know, drink alcohol. I don't need to all these kind of things to really connect myself. Yeah. So there are spirits of the medicine that are so humble, so simple, and so lovely. Don't really show you in the way you really you need to understand. So just in for my experience, I don't recommend people, you know, to drink whatever and any kind of sacred psychedelic psychedelic uh, plant, you know, and go inside a place, you know, because you wanna have a party, you know, with DJs or things like that and drink beers, because everything has a moment and everything has the perfect space and perfect timing, you know. Uh, be, if when you do that. Um, <clears throat> when you drink medicine, guys, your aura or your energetic bodies exp have expansion. You know, 
Yes. And what happens if that energetic body, you know, um, have a tiny, you know, uh, like uh, all there, and you're not able to see that. But what hap what happened? That is trying to expand, expand, expand. You know, that all is not really, it's not going to be tiny. It's going to be a little bit more bigger. You know. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, something can go out or whatever can come in. You know, and of course, if you're in a discoteca. I don't think she's going to be full of angels over there, you know. <laughs> so you can receive whatever, you know. Yeah. And if you're not ready, you know, for that, oh, my God, it's going to give you extra job, guys. So please, uh, if you are listen to me now, so please take responsibility about the place you're going to be and in the way you're going to do this. This is really important. And if you really you don't know, Take your time, take it easy, you know, ask to somebody, you know, can have more knowledge, you know, um, try to don't digest many information, fact information you can find in Google or YouTube, that you can find whatever, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so the first thing here is about your heart. What's your heart feeling? Is this fully right or you do it because you want to leave the experience and you want to have fun? not bad but take care about that because it's so delicate that thing so delicate so can give you can put you in the heaven and in minutes can put you in the other side yeah. exactly yeah yeah just make my recommendation absolutely and that's a that's a recommendation from somebody who does this work and has done it a long time and uh I have a high, a high esteem for his practices, and uh, I myself follow that advice. So be responsible, listeners, uh, viewers. And uh, this is in Theo Radio. You're listening to Ronaldo Guerrero. How can we find you if someone wants to reach out? They're hearing your voice on this podcast. How can they reach out to you? So you can find me on Facebook by my name, Renato Guerrero. Or also you can find me on Instagram too, Renato Guerrero777. Um, or in my email, if you can give my email too. You can give my information. Is that possible? Yeah. Uh, if they reach yeah. out to entheoradio at gmail.com, they can, they can definitely ask for, for your information. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, totally. Okay. so That's great. Is there any final words you want to leave anyone with? Uh, I mean, I want everyone to be able to reach out to you as, as most people do with some of our guests on the show. Um, we're wrapping it up. Yeah. So the first thing, thanks, thanks too much. Thanks so much for, for being open, uh, for giving me this opportunity to really listen. Um, love you really, really so much guys. <laughs> really love you. Uh, I know we are all here in a big spaceship living a big experience. <laughs> yes. So we are totally in the same place. So if you feel something, you know, you need to know if you have questions or whatever, please contact me. I'm open. I'm totally open to you guys to give you a hand. Um, I'm like you, you know, I'm flesh, body, I'm a soul, I'm a spirit, you know, I'm a mind, I'm a heart. So we are the same. I'm not better to you and not less to you. So if you want to talk, I'm open to talk too. <laughs> I'm really open to talk. I'm fully open, you know, to give my service here. Um, because I know if I give my service in the perfect way, I can evolve. And if I help me, I help you. And if you help, uh, you help me, you help yourself too. So it's, it's a team you work. Um, bless you guys. Wish you the best in your own in your own experience. Um, yeah, come on, let's do it. <laughs> we have a long journey. <laughs> Absolutely, and a safe one. A safe one if you want it to be, and you're responsible. And thank you so much, listeners. This has been in Theo Radio broadcast, e n t h e o radio dot com. You can find old episodes there. We're building a new website, but you can also find some really fun stuff on our social media. Facebook pages in Theo Radio, um, and then you can also find us Shamanic Herbs Radio in Theogens and Shamanic Herbs Radio fan pages on Facebook. They're kind of a clone of each other. Find us on Instagram, 
Find us across all podcast media, including iTunes now. And uh, this is your captain signing out. I hope you had an excellent flight and that we're coming to a landing. Ha- captain Hugh T. Alchemy and Ronaldo Guerrero bidding you bon voyage. Bye.